you know what time it is. It's time for a million to one. Million to one bet. Ah, we're only about 12, 11 hours out. No, just down to 12 hours out till uh, UFC 299. We're going to do this in one take, so it's going to be rough. Nothing new here. Alex and uh, Anthony couldn't be here, which just makes the situation even better. All right, kicking it straight off. Early prelims, Joanne Ward. Jeez, she was one fight away from the title. Now kicking off the early prelims. She's going up against Marina Morrows. For those, this is a little tip. Firstly, I'm going Morrows for the win. Dollar forty done. If you uh, search up Marina Morrows on Google, hit images. Turn off safe search. You are welcome. Dollar forty. You know what I mean, people. Dollar forty. Done. Uh, second up, we've got Asu against CJ Vigara. Uh, I've got Asu here, the Kag- Kazakhstani Usada Dodger. He's a dollar seventeen. Jesus, that is a heavy favourite. Next up, we've got the KO Machine Robelis. 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 Robert, whatever his name is, against Josh Parisian. Josh Parisian needs a takedown so quick. This guy, Rebellus, I think his last three fights have lasted a total of 19 seconds. He was fighting pies, but still it's not too bad. He's from Cuba, or Cuba as some say. Next up, oh, so I've got Rebellus for the win, twenty-eight. Just a win, doesn't matter how he does it. Next up, you've got Michel Pierre from Brazil. Uh, early prelims, that is a tough gig for this man. That is tough. He's against the Polish. Man, I can't. He looks like a child with a beard. Anyway, Michael, I think he's going to get done here by Michelle. Michelle's going to win by a sub. I reckon he's going to knock him out, but I reckon he's going to go by the sub. 650. Done. That's uh, that's some free money there. Next, the multi killer, Ion Kutalaba. He's up against the strongest hairline the UFC has ever seen in Felipe Linz. Felipe's got to get it done. I don't know the odds here. I think it's about. What are the odds? It's not even on there anymore. Jesus. Okay, I'm pretty sure that Ion's a favourite. I think Philip Linz should be. I'm going to go Philip on Felipe. Sorry, Jesus. On points. I think that's about two bucks fifty. So that's done. There, the early prelims straight up. Next up, we have Pedro Munoz against Kyla Phillips. That hair is glorious on Kyla Phillips. Kyla Phillips is a favourite. I reckon he's got a win. Doesn't matter how. Just put him down for the win. Dollar forty-two done. Next up, Gamrot against RDA. RDA is a do- uh, What's that? Plus one two five underdog. That's a rough deal for RDA. Ranked eleven, but it's RDA. Anyway, I've gone. I've gone RDA for this one. I've got him on points at six bucks twenty-five for an RDA win on points three rounder. That's getting it done. All right. Next up, you've got uh, Caitlin Chikagian. She's changed her name. I don't even know what that says. So Chikagian there, she's up against a girl with the eyes that are way too close together, Macy Barber. Chikagian can't finish anyone, let's just face facts. So I've gone Chikagian on points, 350. That's not bad for points for a female fighter, for a female match. That's great money. Next up, we have Curtis Blades against Jason Almeida. Um, Almeida, Jesus, he's a big boy, isn't he? Jesus, there's some, there's some fighters in this card that are happy that Usada uh, no longer around. Anyway, I've got uh, I've got Jelton. He's going to win there. How have I got him down there? He's going to win by KO. Yeah, that's fair. Curtis Blades, I don't know about that chin. I don't think he ever recovered from that Derek Lewis KO. Anyway, so I've got um, Almeida. Via KO five bucks seventy, so you're going to be sitting probably sitting on about a hundred and fifty thousand to one now. So anyway, moving up to the main card, Peter Yarn, he's up against Song Yadong. Peter Yarn is still still a man. He's he's not a not a title hopeful anymore, but I think Peter's going to get it done. What did I put him down as? I just had him for the win, dollar eighty eight. Peter Yarn, get back in that, uh, get the, back in that winner circle. Next up, the human microphone, Gilbert Burns. Oh, look at that Lafro. That's tight. He's up against the Aussie Jack Della Maddalena. I'm a big Jack fan. Everyone knows, but but this is a this is something else. Gilbert Burns is no joke. Gilbert Burns has got a chin on him, as he as he proved against uh, Hamzat. Uh, he didn't really against Usman. Yeah, that little jab, that tap that put him down wasn't the best. This is not going to be a popular pick, everyone, to just brace yourself. I've got Burns by points, three-rounder. I think Gilbert is just going to do enough to get it done. That's what I believe. 
You can disagree with me. Go ahead, like everyone else does. Next up, Kevin Holland. Kevin Holland against MVP. He's coming across. MVP's about 36. Shame he didn't come across earlier. I was reading, he's never actually had the belt. He's never He never had a belt in Bellator. I'm pretty sure that's true. I should look into that. And he's coming across to the UFC thinking he's going to, oh, he is delusional, that man. <clears throat> Kevin Holland. I don't think Kevin Holland's going to put him away. I think Kevin Holland's going to win. I think he's going to win very easy. So I've got Kevin Holland on points, three bucks seventy done. Next up, how is I know Benoit Saint Denis is on a bit of a tear. Look at the face on that guy. Anyway, I can't believe that um, Poirier is an underdog. That that surprises me. That really does. I know he got knocked out against Gaethje recently, but anyway. Dustin for the win is $2.67. That's um, that's some good money there. And the main event there, Sean O'Malley, Sugar Sean. After that weigh-in, Vera did not look good. I still don't believe Vera is going to make the make the fight. I reckon Vera is going to get sick or pull out in between now and then and Marab's going to step in. That's what I believe. That's what everyone believes. I've got O'Malley for the win, $1.37. All of that added up together is just over $2 million. Now, if you go on sports bet, I think you're going to win a million dollars. So 50 cents. So put 50 cents down, 50 cents, win a million dollars. With that million dollars, if we if that comes off, I've already put the bet on, if that bet comes off, I will buy everyone in Perth who listens to this a ticket to see Justin Van Herden Lockjaw, as he's known, the flyweight champ of, of uh, Eternal MMA, his UFC debut at UFC 305 here in Perth. I think it's in June or something. How's that for a prediction? Ah, oh, not just predicting the million, but predicting the future Hall of UFC Hall of Famer, Justin Lockjaw Van Herden, is going to be fighting his debut in Perth. I'm going to get tickets. Can't wait to see it. So this is all on... It's all on about 11 hours, people. So, uh, yeah, get it done. Sorry there's no great footage. I just did a screenshot here. So, anyway, 50 cents. Get it done. Two million, two million to one. Win a million dollars. Enjoy yourself. Lock John Van Herden. And uh, we'll see you next week.